How's it going guys? Dre here and today we're gonna be checking out an awesome little indie game called Evolution. Now this is just a little itch.io game. It's free if you want it. Uh, link will be in the description and you can also have the option to donate to the creator as well and I do suggest you obviously do that if you enjoy the game. But in this one you create a little creature and then you go through a genetic algorithm that chooses the best creature from the first generation and then the second generation bases its creation off of the first. You know what? I don't know why I'm trying to explain it. Let's just do it so you can really understand what this is all about. So we're just gonna create something very, very simple right now. I'm, I'm really not planning this out. So that is all our joints. We're gonna connect those together with some bones and let's do something like uh, that and we'll see what happens. So my logic is these back and front things will be like legs that push and pull. Now obviously we need muscles for that. So we're gonna put muscles on this uh, just like so and then we're gonna connect this and just for fun We'll connect this in a triangle fashion just to see what happens and there's our little creature now You can get more complex than that obviously, but for this first example We'll try this out So we have I currently have 40 evolutions of this guy and as you can see the starting ones Well, there's a couple of them that are doing a hell of a lot better than most looks like most are actually stuck in the middle That one guy was really good though You can see the best of gen 1 at the top right and this generation 2 is going to be base its information off of the best in generation one and slightly tweak it to figure out what the most optimal way to move is. Now we're currently just doing running so it's trying to get to the right hand side of the screen as fast as possible. As you can see this is actually working really really good. I'm actually <laughs> impressed by it and once we go through a bunch of generations you should see, see that they all work very very well. So let's give them 10 or so generations and we'll see what pops out. All right, and I ended up going through 42 generations, and as you can see, every one of them is now a marathon freaking runner. This is actually, usually they'll go a couple feet and then flop over. I mean, I guess when you go through this many generations, uh, they do become pretty damn optimized. I like that some of them just, they try different things, right? So obviously they're evolving. Some of them are slightly moving their muscles more, some of them less, and then they figure out which is the best way to go. Let's actually just show one at a time just to kind of see what it's actually doing. So it's using its back leg and middle kind of pivot point and then the front weight to actually go really, really fast. This is a really impressive little creation. So, uh... Yeah, that's 44 generations of it, and that's evolution in a nutshell, really. This creature's whole point is to get to the right-hand side of the screen, and is going to do it in the fastest way possible, and in 47 generations, this is how good you get. So, this is just such an awesome little game. Now, let's try to do something a little bit crazier. You can actually, there's a few different creations in here, like spiders, for example, pre-made ones, kangaroo, and you can also tell them to do different things. So, I guess with the kangaroo, let's tell them to jump and see how high this kangaroo can indeed jump. So, it's gonna be pretty bad at the start. I mean, first generation of anything's always bad. That's why you don't buy first generation technology. But I guess with this one, we have to get as high as possible. So, these guys should start jumping. You can see, one of them in the Gen 1 was actually jumping. I didn't actually see that one. But now, in Generation 2 already, you can obviously see a vast difference. And there actually is some kangaroos doing kangaroo-like things in there. So, let's give this a couple generations. Because I'm going to see how high these things can get. Because some of these are jumping really, really good. Alright, we've done 60 generations of this thing. And as you can see, some of these guys are high flyers. At the start, they seem to all be really good. And then... Some Sometimes they do backflips and whatnot, as you can see, and get crazy. That one just did a backflip right there. Uh, but yes, this is what happens when with 60 generations. They start out pretty bad, but then they... I mean, this is just a jumping master. I feel like it's a little over-evolved at this point where the, because they're actually doing backflips. So we might need to refine this creature if we wanted to get further and higher. All right, let's play around with this kangaroo. I'm going to delete this piece. I want to keep this here. I just want to see what happens if we add the same kind of thing to the other side. If we kind of mirror this, if you will. It definitely won't be a kangaroo anymore, but uh, it might actually do well here. So I'm going to do my best to kind of make this as, as accurate as possible. Unfortunately, there's no grid lines in this game or anything. It's a very basic game for right now. I'd actually like to see this more developed because I think it could be really fun uh, if they add quite a bit more to it. It's still, don't get me wrong, really impressive. But as it currently sits, it's only joints, bones, and muscles. So we could always have more than just that. 
So uh, I'm just gonna go like this and basically we're doing the same thing over again. So that would be looking like that and then this going like that. Now I wanna probably connect these together too. It's not perfectly even as you can see. Uh, I'm gonna call this one the butterfly. Actually, you know what? Let's use muscles. Let's see what happens when we have a little bit of flex in the middle of our creation. We can't, okay, yeah, that doesn't make sense. Muscles are not attached to joints. They're attached to bones. So we'll do that like that, that like that. Now trying to copy these muscles Muscles over here is gonna be fun. It looks like a lot are connected all the way through. So we're gonna connect this to that. That looks like it's definitely happening. Uh, I can see another one connecting to this. Well, that one right there, it's a little bit sideways. This looks like it connects. Okay, so this is where it's gonna get confusing. This looks like it connects over to, well, one connects to here. And then I think it just connects to all of them. So let's try something like that. It looks like we're doing pretty good here. Now this has to connect all the way down to here. That's happening right there. Uh, is there anything I'm missing? It looks like this might be okay. So we're gonna connect this. Oh, we already did do that. Do I want to put a joint there? I don't think I do. So we're just going to have that open, and I think it can wobble back and forth a little bit. Let's just try this out and see what happens. Now, do we want to do jumping? There's multiple things we can do. Obstacle jump and climbing. Let's just stick with jumping. This might be a good jumper. I think it also might be a good runner, but... Uh, ooh, I could be totally wrong, too. Let's give it a few generations. Right now, it's just a ball of chaos. Oh, it's got moves though. Check out, check out this. I love it. It actually stands up on its legs. If we could get those legs to move somehow and walk, oh, that would be amazing. You know what? Maybe in a few generations it will learn that it can do that. Right now it's trying to jump though. You gotta remember, I think this actually might be a good walker and we might try that out later on. Let's just show one at a time just to kind of see what it's doing right now. It's kind of dancing, you know? It's, it's kind of majestic. But we don't want to dance. We want to jump. It's trying its best to move those muscles as high as possible. And it's doing little jumps. As you can see, it's slowly learning. I'll give it... I'm not going to give it 50 generations. Let's give it like 20 and just see what happens. All right, it's doing a little better. As you can see, it's focused on jumping. I see some bottlenecks in my system, though. When it lands kind of on its side, uh, sometimes it gets stuck. And I think I should connect... Uh, these two joints maybe together with something. Uh, those two in the middle, as you can see, once it gets stuck on the side, has a really hard time getting off that. If it can stay on the two bottom legs, it does really, really well. It's definitely okay at jumping. It's no kangaroo, that's for sure. I think this will be a good walker, though. So we're gonna go back. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Let's delete that. And I don't even remember putting that there, so I don't think it was there. So what we're gonna do, I'm going to put some more... Actually, let's put the joint in first. We're gonna put two joints down here, and I'm gonna try and make a runner here. And we're gonna connect those together with bones and I am quite literally making a butterfly. It's unintentional but it is definitely a butterfly and what we're gonna do I think is connect this to this, that to that and we're also gonna connect these to the sides as well and we'll see what happens. I think this should be a good or at least okay runner. So let's go back to that and give this thing a couple chances here. Obviously at the start we've seen it many times before. It's pretty damn bad. <laughs> And already at Generation 4, we see some getting ahead of the competition and utilizing that front leg. Kind of like a, a majestic little sidestep. Okay, we're getting a little bit of lag here. Uh, I might need to drop the amount down. This is a pretty complex creation, but as you can see, uh, that's what I was hoping it would do, but it would actually jump a little higher. So hopefully over time, it will learn that it can definitely get more air than that and stay balanced. And we'll see how far it can get, but it's doing good. And uh, it looks fantastic. All right, and already at just Gen 15, unfortunately, the leg is here, but you can see that little diamond I made is really working good at pulling the legs together, and that's what I wanted it to do, is pull these legs together so it can jump as high as possible. Uh, now it's probably gonna leg like crazy when we show all of them, but as you can see, they're all learning, and it's actually turning into a really good walker once again. And that's, what, that's what's so great about this game. You can create whatever the hell you want, and as long as you wait enough generations, there's probably gonna be one that knows what the hell to do, and uh, it usually does it. All right, and after 171 generations, I decided to go do some errands and just let this thing learn, and it's actually doing pretty damn good. As you can see, it's jumping higher like I hoped it would, and uh, it's actually kind of like galloping, so... Uh, yeah, really, really fast now, and uh, obviously, over time, anything becomes amazing, and this one did really, really well at doing that. So let's go back. Let's check out. Uh, we got two more things to check out. I don't know if we'll check out all things in this episode. I'm kind of curious about climbing, though. I think I know of something that would be good at climbing. We're just going to put this one in here real quick just to see what it has to do. Okay, so it has to go upstairs. Uh, well, this one's not very good <laughs> 
that. I wonder if it would ever be able to actually do it. That is just, it's just falling down the frigging stairs. Oh, already! Generation 2, at least they're holding on. And it looks like one's actually, oh, well, he fell over, but he's actually trying to climb. Oh, I love this game, man. Okay, I gotta give it a couple generations. This is not built for climbing, but can it climb? That's the bigger question. All right, I gave it 18 generations, and it's more like a drunken guy trying to get upstairs than anything else. It can stop itself from falling. That's really all it's good at. If I play with these muscles a little bit, I could probably get this middle thing to latch onto the stairs and climb up. But, uh, and maybe over time it would be able to. But right now, as you can see, it is just not made for the stairs. So we're gonna go back, and maybe, just maybe, we can actually make something for the stairs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and build something here. Alright, so my logic is the centipede's the way to go, or a millipede, or something of that nature. So we're gonna add a nice little body here with lots of different joints so it can hopefully crawl up the thing. Uh, we're gonna have to connect all these with bones, so let's not make anything too crazy. Let's just try that for right now. And obviously this is gonna be the frame of the body. We gotta add little legs to this as well. And that's what's going to hopefully work. It's gonna be able to kind of crawl up the stairs, if you will. So... Let's uh, go back to the joints here, and every well, I guess we'll just put them in between these. I might, I should have made this a little bit larger, I think, but it should be good, hopefully. All right, and there's the leggies done. So now all we got to do is the muscles. Can I zoom in? I think you can. Good, so we can actually see what's going on here. Now for the muscles, I think I'm just gonna connect these legs and then the middle of the legs together like so, so they can uh, expand and contract. And we're just gonna have a muscle system going all the way up these legs. Don't know if this will be good at climbing stairs. It should be good at doing most things though. Uh, generally with a lot of joints like this, if they're a lot if they're wavy, they should be good at dealing with obstacles. So there we go. We evolved it and it's lagging. There's a random joint there, but that's okay. Now hopefully over time the leg should stop. I don't know why this one's so damn laggy. You know what? Let, let's go back. Let's let's drop the uh you can you can edit this. I didn't really show this. You can tell what population you want to spawn and then the seconds per population for them to learn. So let's give them uh, a chance to actually try and climb. We'll give them 15 seconds with 25, and hopefully this should be yes, less laggy as you can see. I must have forgot to get rid of a joint. Um it's gonna be you know what? This might be too small. I might need to make the legs bigger, but I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a chance here. It's it's actually climbing downwards right now. All right, I think my issue is I made the legs a little bit too small, and they're actually getting kind of stuck in between the uh, stairs here. So unfortunately, uh, making something that can climb stairs is harder than it seems. We're gonna go back. I want to see if this actually just works like a centipede or, or a millipede, whatever one you want to consider. So we're gonna go back to running and give this thing a chance to actually walk here. I don't know if it's uh, just me doing the joints wrong, but uh, as you can see, right at, at generation one, it's not doing too well here. Well, this is just the saddest millipede or centipede ever, but it is slowly learning. I dropped it down to five seconds because uh, my logic is the more joints it has, the hard harder it takes for it to learn. So we're already at generation 43, and it's learning to kind of wave through its legs. You can see if you watch it long enough, you can tell that it's definitely trying to move ahead. It's just it's going to take a lot of different tries, and I probably could improve the way this thing moves, but uh, I just wanted to see if it was able to do it, and it's slowly doing it, but I think it would take like thousands and thousands of generations for it to actually turn into a millipede and have that cool little wave thing that they do with their legs. So yeah, millipede experiment, centipede experiment, whatever you want to call this guy, uh, a complete failure. We're just going to get rid of this. All right, I had another a good idea for one. This should kind of work like a millipede, but now I think there's less room for error. So this has, it's got kind of like a bike wheel where its legs are poking out, and then it's got muscles in between each uh, bony joint. And then obviously it meets all in the middle. So this should actually, oh yeah, as you can see, let's see what it's looking like though. Oh yeah, it's gonna have some hard times at the start, but it has so many muscles and joints, it might actually learn to uh, start moving this thing forward here. I wonder why it, they all meet up in the same spot. It's weird, because there's way more legs than this, but they're all, kind of, I was hoping they wouldn't do this, because the, the less it spreads out, the more it should roll. Now it's kind of like a starfish. Okay, now it's learning. Yes, as you can see, at the start it moves ahead a little bit, and it's actually utilizing its legs, kind of like a wheel, to push it along. So, oh, I think this is going to work well. We're only on Generation 9, and at least it's rolling forward a little bit. All right, we're at Generation 35, and as you can see, it's actually starting to utilize its legs. Unfortunately, it still spreads them out, and it kind of gets trapped in this triangle of doom. Uh, and that's when this thing totally screws up. Let's actually show all of them so you can see 
They are learning, though. We're at Generation 38. And like I said, I think the more joints it has, the more complex it's going to be, obviously. Therefore, the more generations it takes to understand how to move. Uh, but yes, the wheel kind of works. Definitely not as good as some of our earlier uh, designs. Definitely with this game, I think simple is the best way to do it. Unless you want to wait a lot of generations and see what happens. You know what? Let's give this thing a good amount of generations. Because I want to see what like 400 do or 500, something like that. So I'll give it some time and we'll see if this thing can actually start rolling. Because I hope it can. All right, and I gotta be honest, Wheel Bro isn't where I wanted him to be because he keeps putting his legs together. I don't know how to. Well, I, I can't. I can't really tell him anything. That's what evolution does. But uh, yeah, at least he's moving forward, as you can see. It's definitely a lot better than Generation One or Two. But uh, there's definitely been dwindling returns over the last uh, 500 or so generations because uh, he's kind of done the same thing the whole time, to be honest. So I think there's a limitation to how obviously good you can be. Now, as you can see, though. They're very, very similar. They're almost following each other exactly at the start, and then they kind of spread out and try different things. I don't know what these guys are doing back here, but they're not very smart. There we go. As you can see, like, they're all exactly the same at the start. So they're finding their way. It's just there's constraints with the actual creation itself, and uh, obviously you can only get so good. So at least it moves forward. All right, guys, and I think that's a good first look at Evolution. Now, this is an awesome little game. I think this would actually be a good teaching tool more than anything because it kind of shows you how evolution works you know survival of the fittest and a picture or a video is worth a thousand words so you can really see how trial and error really changes the way a creation works so yeah we're gonna wrap it up here i don't know if we'll do another one or not if you guys really like this obviously we'll check it out again try and do some more crazy creations It'd be fun to try and make like a car or something and see what happens but yeah we're gonna wrap it up here so i hope you guys enjoyed this one like i said at the start of the video if you do want to check it out for yourself and play around with it link will be in the description as always thanks for watching and liking guys and i'll see you in the next one.